it's time. It's happening. We're going to talk about probably the most hated episode of the Lilo and Stitch television series. Buckle the fuckle up, because it's time to look at French Fry. If you have no idea what's going on, had no idea there was a TV show, then I'm sorry, but I'm not explaining it. I'm here on behalf of those who know what's up. So, Season 2, Episode 2. Lilo, Stitch, and Wheatley are banned from eating junk food. It's your typical little kids show episode about eating healthy and all that jazz. They activate Experiment 062, made to cook up delicious meals. Bruh, look at this dude. Look at the top of his head! <laughs> so the little guy does his job, whips up all these super unhealthy dishes. It isn't long before the center of this episode's controversy comes into play. At first glance, it looks like inflation. People saw out-of-context images and flipped their shit. I'm not showing any images of these effects on screen because I'm not giving any potential fetishist viewers what they want. Anyway, even with the proper context included, the whole thing does look extremely sketchy. It's quick and easy to cry out that the producers were trying to shoehorn their fetishes into this show. I'm not going to deny that cartoon producers have made some questionable content in kids' shows before. Case in point, totally spies, but that's a whole other can of worms. Anyway. Like I said, it's easy to blame fetishism here, but sit down for a minute and think about this critically. It's stated in the episode that the characters are gaining fat, not being inflated. I'm aware that fat fetishes are a thing too, but hold your horses. All episodes of this show have a moral of the story, and some are cheesier than others. This episode in particular has the moral of healthy food is good for you, and too much junk food causes problems. Now put yourself in the shoes of someone who has to write a story to teach this moral within the span of a less than 20 minute program. You've got to sell the concept quickly. In reality, poor dietary choices take a while to have dire consequences, but the episode needed to make its point in a small amount of time and in a way that would be understood by children without the use of medical terms they probably wouldn't understand. The solution? Junk food makes you fat. Ta-da. But wait, I just said that these things take a long time in real life. So now you need to speed up the process to fit the time frame. Hence, the bloating process caused by french fries food happens at a rapid pace, giving the outward appearance of what looks a lot like inflation. Now you're probably thinking, if the point is fat and not inflation, why did the characters get round instead of putting on fat in a realistic way? Simple. It's a cartoon. Firstly, the roundness is used in the episode for comedic effect on more than a few occasions. Second, and something people probably don't think about, is that realistic, morbidly obese bodies likely would not sit well with the intended audience. Think about it. Young kids are easily distressed, and seeing their favorite characters turn into blobs of flesh would probably be upsetting for them. By reducing the concept to simply making the characters like bouncy balls, it gets the point across while being cartoony enough to not upset the target demographic. An almost identical concept was used in the Fairly Odd Parents episode, Just Desserts. Timmy wishes for desserts to be the only food in the world. People get ridiculously obese. But most of them are simply turned spherical, with the exceptions of Cosmo and Wanda, who put on more realistic fat roles to highlight their comparatively greater state of gluttony. Just Desserts uses the trope of turning obesity into a comedic device, just like French fry. There is very little difference. All things considered, I think the reason for the controversy around French fry's episode is that it was being scrutinized by a cynical adult audience rather than being taken at face value as a silly cartoon. We're not the intended demographic. So the episode itself is not the problem. We've cleared that up now. But what is a problem is when actual fetishists use this episode as an excuse to indulge in their fetishes. That's the part that's not okay. Unfortunately, this whole mess is a case of the old the fandom ruined the thing for me gripe. People automatically assume that since french fry is used by fetishists, that it's a fetish work in and of itself. That's just not true. Fanbase is not the same as the franchise. Yeah, fandoms can be horrible and gross and toxic, but they don't have to quote-unquote ruin the franchise for you. It's entirely possible to enjoy something while ignoring the drooling dipshits of the internet. Thanks for listening. If there are other Lilo and Stitch-related topics you'd like me to cover in the future, please let me know. Oh, and uh, before you suggest talking about the Stitch anime, don't worry. I have big plans for reviewing that hot mess. Big plans.